Hey guys, uh, in this video I'll show you uh, the two most powerful commands of a, a partial uh, or window environments uh, in a partial command. So those are remove with high uh, with uh, more uh, extensive uh, features than what we we did in our last pre uh, video, and the other one would be the find which is the get child item. Uh, so let's get started. In, in our commands, uh, here in my, uh, I have a command line here. In this command line, I have the, uh, the folder called uh, more info backup. Uh, so I have some contents in it. If I look here, there is contents in it. So by the way, why don't we uh, Okay, so let me uh, remove uh, item, uh, let me remove uh, more info, by the way. Uh, if I remove everything it says. So if I do this here, so, so let me copy. Mm. Item, uh, more info, backup into more info and then recurse that way I have a copy of each other and I, I can use one for the remove and the other one will be for get ch uh, children child item okay so let me go to more info for example and then I'll show you how uh, remove item can help us in a more better fashion than we did last uh, last time so remove item it just as the name says it removes but it can also uh, it, either it can remove specific we did uh, what we did last time was uh, to re remove a specific uh, file or folders or everything but in our case here in our case if we have multiple folders too many fo files or folders we can we don't have to put everything we can uh, trade between which one is uh, going uh, being removed more or uh, uh, staying uh, less. What I mean is, if you are uh, leaving fewer files, you can say remove everything, exclude those guys. If you are removing only fewer files, you can just say remove those files. On top of that, if you have a patterns, you can use the patterns to remove them. As you see here, there are files with sh files. Some of them are CSV, some of them PS1. The, we might have mul uh, duplicate of all uh, uh, the specific extension, for example. We might have 10 of sh, different names. So instead of the so going after all of them, we can say remove those guys. Remove everything but uh, when you're removing uh, include those only it's as, it's thinking that it's removing everything but it's not removing it's just uh, removing those uh, extra those uh, inputs that I gave it later on how do I put I, I give those uh, extra inputs using the extra options called include and exclude so uh, how do i use them when you are removing everything in include in, uh, and then use the include what you do is remove item for example everything here but include include some specific files so for example here it's giving me kind of is suggesting me so you can remove everything um, uh, it looks like i'm re removing everything but it's looking at the include only It'll include the dot sh if there is more dot sh that i'm expecting to exist in the subfolders or more and more sub subfolders i can use the recurse as well so if i do this it will remove it, it does, it's not removing everything, 
it seems so, but it looks at the include at the end of the day. So it's removing uh, under this current folder, which is more info, removing any files that has extension of uh, uh, .sh. If I look here, that .sh is gone. If there is, there were other folders in, inside uh, those guys, they should have been from one. I can uh, example one, for example. Yeah, uh, maybe I, I didn't have that. Uh, maybe example two, I don't have it. I'm pretty sure I had one, so it's gone. Okay, I can. I, we can do that also for CSV. Because CSV exists either in the current directory and then under example one. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to say CSV. So if I definitely it's uh, it's not under this current directory because it's gone because that's obvious. The only thing is example one. Yeah, example one is also now empty because I removed it using that include how about the exclude the exclude is remove everything but leave this uh, thing that i am asking you uh, like uh, by the way in this remove item it's you're asking it to remove some location where i'm uh, well in our example is a current directory if you but if we were to uh, to to intend uh, to, to plan deleting others uh, the contents in a different location while you are in a different uh, directory, you can do the path and then go to that uh, mm, folder or directory you're planning to delete. But in our case, it's uh, here. Uh, remove everything, but but leave text or as uh, the partial uh, any files with the ps1 uh, extensions so start dot ps1 ah uh, it's just it's just acting so smart so ps1 so i can also recurse which means you can look anywhere you try to delete everywhere but again if you find this ps1 uh, extension files don't delete them if i do this i should i shouldn't see anything but that ps1 file so everything is gone beside the uh, ps1 so what i i uh, i showed you today uh, in this video is remove item with include and exclude options I hope this helps and I'm, sh I'm pretty sure when you are doing some automation uh, scripting this will help you definitely a lot uh, the other one is which I was telling you uh, finding a file or a contents so uh, I'm, I'm, I will go this this file folder is already now kind of empty so I have to go to the other folder which is called uh, more info backup it, uh, I believe it has all the files uh, back up here so what I'm gonna ask uh, I'm gonna sh uh, show you here is I'm gonna show you on how the on how to find a file in you know in Unix uh, environments we use the find command to find uh, co uh, files in different directory but here we use the get child item so um, it is get child item get child item uh, what in here if you do here it means it will show you everything it means kind of dear as if you said exactly what we see over there oh, but also you can say get child item uh, with minus name see if you do get child item minus name it will uh, show you. Let me do it again. Get child the item, uh, and then the name, uh, and then also yeah the name uh, level. It will give you that. If you see, by the way, 
uh, you can child item here this is the name column see that the column here this is what it's showing you okay the get child item with the name is pretty cool it just lists the name of the file this will help you what when you are uh, in your in any automations you would like to do uh, when you are uh, collecting the the content of a, a directory or a folder and then you will process them you will use them for post process right after afterwards you collect them and then you use them to to do some actions okay so uh, the other again the uh, item find item is more importantly by the way is fi find a specify specific files with specific uh, set of patterns okay so hey uh, get child item find me any files uh, a file any a, any file with extension extension sh if i do here it will just show me uh, the current uh, the current directory but if i were to say recurs it will show me in all down it will go down deep down so it says here example one example two and also the current directory so all the files are listed here one by one since i asked it to find recurs go all the way down find find me wherever you find these patterns a file with the research uh, patterns uh, and the the other is again it's pretty much like what we we were saying the instead of using this you can make it also uh, fancy by using the include also hmm. I have to delete this so get uh, child item here include a star dot csv and then you can also make it make it also fun recurse okay so find a file get a child item of these guys but only this format i'm asking it okay so uh, i hope this helps a little bit and, and don't forget to subscribe and for more videos to come please don't forget to subscribe and also if you have any comments please don't forget also don't hesitate to leave me any comments uh, and yeah uh, until next video see you bye bye